Hey, so today I'm going to go through thirds. Okay, now when it comes to simplifying thirds, we need to know our square numbers really off the top of our head. So on the top here, I'm going to write out my square numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Now, you need to know your square numbers really, really well. Okay, so now you also need to know how to do factor trees. So for example, I need to find the factors of 48. But in thirds, I need to find the biggest factor that is a square number. So for example, 48 is divisible by 4, but I need to find the biggest square number that's a factor. So the biggest square number that's a factor of 48 is 16. So I'm going to split this into 16. Now 48 divided by 16 gives me 3, so I can split the root of 48 into root of 16 and root of 3. Now because 16 is a square number, the root of 16 can simplify to give me 4, and the root 3 stays. So another way of writing out root 48 can be written as 4 root 3 in the form k3 where k is an integer. Now k would be the 4. Okay, so I'm going to write this out as 4 root 3. Now we're going to do the same thing with this question. Write root 50 in the form k root 2 where k is an integer. So out of these square numbers, which is the biggest square number that goes into 50? Now 50 is divisible by 25, so I can split root 50 into root 25 root 50 divided by root 25 would give me root 2. Now, because 25 is a square number, the root of 25 can simplify, simplify to give me 5, and the root 2 will stay, so this will give me 5 root 2. So my answer will be 5 root 2. You have to write it in the form k root 2, where k is an integer. In this case, the integer would be 5. Now, our next question, write 5 root 27 in the form k root 3, where k is an integer. Now, 5 is being multiplied to the root 27, so I'm going to do 5 times root 27. Now, root 27 can be simplified. So, what's the biggest square number that goes into 27? I know that 9 is the biggest square number that goes into 27. I do 27 divided by 9, and I get 3, so I can write down 3 here. Now, remember this 5 here at the top. It's being multiplied by these thirds still. We haven't forgotten about this. So now, because 9 is a square number, it can simplify to give me 3. Let's not forget this 5 here, which is being multiplied by the thirds and this 3. And this root 3 stays. Now, the 5 can multiply by the 3 to give me 15, and the root 3 will stay. So now, in the form k root 3, the root integer k would be 15. So my answer is 15 root 3. Now, let's do the same thing with this question. Write 7 root 20 in the form k root 5 where k is an integer. So this is written as 7 multiplied by root 20, and root 20 can be simplified. The biggest square number that goes into root 20 is 4, so I'm going to do 20 divided by 4, which gives me 5. Now, root 4 can simplify to give me 2. Let's not forget the 7 that's being multiplied here. So 7 multiplied by 2, root 5. 7 multiplied by 2 can simplify to give me 14, so my answer would be 14 root 5, and k in this case would be 14. Okay, so next question says expand and simplify these brackets. So we all should know how to expand our brackets. This 2 multiplies by everything in this bracket and this square root 3 multiplies by everything in this bracket. So first I'm going to do 2 multiplied by my 2 and I get a 4. Then I'm going to do 2 multiplied by minus root 3. So pretend minus root 3 is an x. If I did 2 times minus x, I would get minus 2x. So here I'm going to write minus 2 root 3. Okay, so root 3 is just an unknown number that we don't know. We wouldn't know it unless we put it in our calculator. Now we're going to do this root 3 multiplied by everything in that bracket. So root 3, positive root 3 times by 2 would give me plus 2 root 3. And then a plus root 3 times by a minus root 3. Now when a root 3 is multiplied by a root 3, if a root of a number is multiplied the root of the same number, then the root will cancel out and I'll just be left with that number. Because 1 is positive and 1 is negative, my answer will be negative and I'll be left with negative 3. Now remember what I said, pretend the root 3 is an x, it's an unknown digit. So imagine I had 2 minus 2x plus 2x, that would cancel out, would it not? So minus 2x, a minus 2 root 3 and plus 2 root 3, they cancel out. And I'm left with 4 subtract 3. 4 subtract by 3 gives me 1, so my answer for these brackets is just simply 1. 
asked. Now, this question says here, write 3 plus root 5 square root 5 squared in the form a plus b root 5, where a and b are integers. So let's just ignore this bit for now. This bit here is just how your answer should look like in the end. What we're going to do is we're going to start expanding this. Squared means that thing is multiplied by itself twice. So this means that this bracket is multiplied by itself twice. So I'm going to have 3 plus root 5, 3 plus root 5. Now this 3 is going to multiply with my 3 and it will give me a 9. This 3 will multiply by my five, root 5 and it will give me plus 3 root 5. This root 5 will multiply by my 3 and it will give me plus 3 root 5. And this root 5 will multiply by my root 5. five root 5 times by root 5 will give cancel out the root and it will give me a plus 5. Now I have plus 3 root 5 and plus 3 root 5. Imagine I had plus 3x plus 3x. That would simplify to give me plus 6x. So I can write down 9 plus 6 root 5 plus 5. What else can we group together? The 9 plus the 5. 9 plus 5 is 14, so I can simplify to give me 14 plus 6 root 5. And there we go, we've expanded and simplified this bracket. Now we're going to practice this and do another question. I'm going to do 2 multiplied by my 1 and I'll get 2. I'll do 2 multiplied by my root 5 and I'll get minus 2 root 5. Then I'll do my root 5 multiplied by my 1 and I'll get plus root 5. Then I'll do my plus root 5 multiplied by my minus root 5 and because there's a plus and a minus, my answer will be a minus 5. Now, I have minus 2 root 5 and a plus root 5. So I have minus 2 plus 1, I'll be left with minus root 5. And then I have 2 subtracted by, 2 subtract 5, 2 take away 5 gives me 3. So my answer is minus root 5 minus 3, minus root 5 minus 3. Now, this question says write 3 plus root 2 squared in the form a plus b a plus b root 2. So what I need to do is I need to expand these brackets and my answer should come out looking like this. So I'm going to write this out, 3 minus root 2, bracket 3 minus root 2. I'm going to expand this, 3 times 3 gives me 9, 3 times minus root 2 is minus 3 root 2. Then I have minus root 2 times by 3 which is minus 3 root 2. 2, this is a root 2, sorry. And then I have minus root 2 multiplied by minus root 2. Now, a minus and a minus, if they're being multiplied, it cancels out and I'm left with a positive 2. Now, I have minus 3 root 2 and minus 3 root 2. So I have minus x, pretend the root 2 is an x, minus x and minus 3x, minus 3x. So 2 minus 2x's will give me a minus 6x. This can simplify to give me 9 minus 6 root 2 plus the 2. Now, this plus 2 and plus 9 can simplify to give me 11. So my final answer will be 11 minus 6 root 2. Two. Now we're going to expand and simplify this question here. So this, we're going to break it into two parts. We're going to do this part and this part. So to expand this, I'm going to do 2 plus root 3 and 2 plus root 3. And here I'm going to have 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Now I've expanded both brackets, I need to expand them. So 2 multiplied by 2 gives me 4. 2 multiplied by root 3 is plus 2 root 3. Root 3 multiplied by 2 is plus 2 root 3. And root 3 times by root 3 is plus 3. I can simplify this. The 4 and the 3 give me a 7. And the plus root 2 root 3 and plus 2 root 3 give me a plus 4 root 3. Now I'm subtracting these brackets, so I'm going to put a big minus here. A bit of a one. Okay, now I'm going to expand this. 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times minus root 3 is minus 2 root 3. And then minus root 3 times by 2 is minus 2 root 3. And then a minus 3 and a, mi a minus and a minus becomes a positive, so this will be positive 3. Now a 4 plus a 3 will give me a 7. And a minus root 2 root 3 and a minus 2 root 3 would give me a minus 4 root 3. Now remember that these brackets are subtracting. So now I've got 7 minus a 7. That will cancel out. I've got a plus 4 root 3 minus minus 4 root 3. So I've got two minuses, that becomes a plus. So 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 will simplify to give me 8 root 3. Imagine it was 4x plus 4x, it will simplify to give me 8x, so that's why this will become 8 root 3. Now we have moved on to rationalizing denominators. When I rationalize the denominator, it means I need to get rid of this, this third at the bottom. Okay, so if I ask you what is 2 over 2, you're going to say that simplifies to give me 1. If I ask you what's 365 over 365, you're going to be like, okay, that's 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Now, if I ask you root 3 over root 3, that is also equal to 1. When something is divided by itself, it's equal to 1. 
Now, what if I ask you to do um, 6 multiplied by 1? My value would still be 6. So if I ask you to do 6 multiplied by 2 over 2, because I know that 2 over 2 is 1, my value would still be 6. What if I ask you to do 6 times by root 3 over root 3? It might look confusing because there's thirds there, but my value will still be equal to 6. Okay, I'm just going to maybe write it in a different way. So to rationalize this denominator, all it does, it gets rid of the third from the bottom of the fraction. So to rationalize 6 root 3, I'm going to multiply it by root 3 over root 3 because I know that a root 3 times by root 3 will get rid of the root and it will leave me with just a 3. So 6 times by root 3 will give me a 6 root 3 and root 3 times by root 3 will simplify to give me a 3. It will get rid of the third from the bottom of the fraction. Now, I can simplify this because I know that 6 is divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 gives me 2, so my answer can be written as 2 root 3. Now, this here is the same value as this here. It's just written in a different format because all I did was 6 root 3 multiplied by 1. So the value of these two is the same. If, I, if you have this many sweets and I have this many sweets, the value is still the same. It's just been written in a different way. Now I'm going to rationalize when there's algebra with these x's. So to get rid of the third at the bottom, I need to do x over root x multiplied by root x over root x. That's how I'm going to get rid of the third at the bottom. So I'm literally multiplying it by 1 because root x over root x would be 1. So x times by root x would give me x root x. And root x times by root x, the roots would cancel out and I'd be left with x. Now I've got an x at the bottom and I've got an x at the top, so they will cancel out and my final answer will be x. So x divided by root x is the same value as the root of x. Okay, practice makes perfect, guys. So practice as many questions as you can. So to get rid of this, I need to do 1 plus root 5 over root 2. And I, to rationalize it and get rid of the root 2 at the bottom, I need to multiply it by root 2 over root 2. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this by timesing this root 2 by everything here. So I'm going to do two, 1 times root 2, which is root 2. Then I'm going to do five times root 5 times by root 2. Because they're both inside roots, I can do 5 times 2, which gives me plus root 10. And then root 2 times by root 2 will give me just a whole 2. Okay, so my answer for this question would be root 2 plus root 10 is over 2. So root 2 plus root 10 over 2. Now I'm going to carry on practicing rationalizing. So because I've got a root 3 at the bottom, I'm going to multiply it by root 3 over root 3. So I've got 3 plus root 6 over root 3. I'm going to multiply this by root 3 over root 3. So I'm going to do 3 times by root 3 and I'll get 3 root 3. I'm going to do 6 times by 3. Because they're both inside a third, I can multiply them out and I'll get I'll get um, plus root 18. And then this will be divided by a whole 3. Now root 18, we did simplifying before, so I'm going to pull out a root 18 here and I'm going to simplify a bit more. What's the biggest square number that goes into root 18? I can say a 9 and a 2. So 18 divided by 9 gives me 2. 9 can simplify to give me 3 and I'll be left with 3 root 2. So now I can change this root 18 into 3 root 2. So I've got 3 root 3 plus 3 root 2 divided by 3. Now because I've got a 3 here and a 3 here and a 3 here, a three, this 3 is divisible by that 3 and so is that. So it cancels out and I will be left with 3 root 3 plus root 2. Say for example, for argument's sake, I had 3 root 3 divided by and plus, um, say uh, it was 5 root 2 divided by 3, then that couldn't cancel out. Only this one would cancel out to give me a root 3, but this one would be left as 5 root 2 over 3. But because they are both divisible by 3, they both cancel out, and I, my final answer would be root 3 plus root 2. Okay, now this says simplify fully. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my top two brackets. So I'm just going to pull this out here, and I'm going to do 4 plus 2 root 3 uh, multiplied by 4 minus 2 root 3. Okay, 4 multiplied by a 4 will give me 16. 4 multiplied by minus 2 root 3 will be minus 8 root 3. Plus 2 root 3 multiplied by 4 will be plus 8 root 3, and uh, plus 2 root 3, so that would give me a minus 2, and then the root 3 times by, a, sorry, that would give me a minus 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus root 3 times by minus root 3 will be a 3, so that is being multiplied, minus 4 and the 3 are being multiplied, so I've got 16 minus 8 root 3 plus 8 root 3 minus 12. 
Now, minus 8 root 3 and a plus 8 root 3, they can cancel out. I'm left with 16 subtract by 12, which leaves me with 4. So this whole top bit of the fraction is equal to 4, and I'm left with 4 over root 11. Now, this is not simplified because it is not fully rationalized. Okay, so to rationalize this fully, I need to, do, I need to multiply by root 11 over root 11. So 4 multiplied by root 11 gives me 4 root, 11, 4 root 11 and root 11 times by root 11 is equal to 11. So my final answer will be 4 root 11 divided by 11. Now what I'm going to do is 5 plus 2. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to show that this equation can be written as this. So I'm going to um, rationalize it. So I'm going to do 5 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3. And to rationalize it, I need to multiply by 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3. Now, if you know the difference of the two squares, if I want to get rid of the root at the bottom, I need to do 2 plus root 3 times by 2 minus root 3. If I wanted to get rid of a 2 minus root 3, I have to multiply it by a positive. So I have to multiply it by the opposite um, operation. So now I'm going to make this into one big fraction. So I'll have 5 plus 2 root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3. And I have these brackets at the bottom, 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Okay, so now I need to expand my brackets. 5 times by 2 gives me 10. 5 times by root 3 gives me minus 5 root 3. Root 2 root 3 times by 2 will give me plus 4 root 3. And plus 2 root 3 times by minus root 3 would give me minus 2 multiplied by a 3. Let's simplify this. I have a minus 5 root 3 and a, and a plus 4 root 3. That will simplify to give me minus root 3. This 10 is going to stay and this minus 2 times by 3 would give me minus 6. Now the 4 minus 6 will simplify to give me 4 and this will be a minus root 3. So my final answer will be 4 minus root 3. Now we need to show that this can be written as root 3. So we have just proved that this whole equation can be simplified and be written as this. And if I got this answer final, I would know that this would be correct. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Okay, I'm going to prove that that can be written as that. So